Hey, what is up, my dudes? It's I wanna fucking kill myself here, and today we're gonna be reviewing. Uh, um. Uh. uh that th this one. Th this this one right here. Yeah, this one. The Irregular and Magic High School. Oh boy, this is gonna be a doozy. So, okay, if you watched a previous video of mine, you'll already know that I'm not a big fan of this show. I'm just making this review because I genuinely don't understand how some people like it as much as they do. Now, if you like this show, that's absolutely fine, it's just that your opinion sucks balls. And one more thing before we start, no, I haven't finished this anime, so take this review with a grain of salt. Plus, I'm just some random dude on the internet, so what the hell does my opinion matter anyway? Okay, so I'm gonna start by addressing the biggest point of this show, magic. The main idea here is that magic has been brought down to a science, and now it's a world power, and blah 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 And that already brings me to one of my major issues with this show to begin with. They try to explain MAGIC! Magic, in my opinion, isn't supposed to be explained. How many times have you been watching something, let's just say anything, something absolutely crazy just happens, and the only way they explain it in the show is just magic? It's because it wasn't supposed to be explained, it's just something that sort of happened. Since magic is brought down to a science in this show, they try to explain magic. Why? Now, to some people, that concept may be pretty cool, you know? Oh, wow! Magic is made possible through science and technology! Oh, wow! However, all it usually led to was long-winded explanations about stuff I generally had no desire to learn about, you know? So, you know, whenever something, like, cool or amazing happens, instead of just saying magic, they bring in these long-winded five-minute explanations on how what just happened was made possible. Five minutes, I'm not even exaggerating here, is one-fourth of one episode's runtime. Like, what? And in some episodes, there were multiple explanations, so the whole episode can just be explanations about stuff I don't give a shit about. Just to get my point across about how stupid it is to explain magic or how pointless it is, take a real-life magician, for example. In reality, we all know that these guys aren't really performing magic. It's a magic trick. Emphasis on the trick. But since we don't know how these tricks are performed, it gives the illusion that it really is magic. The very second you know how the magic trick is done, it's not a magic trick anymore, it's just a trick. And that leads me back to my main problem with this show. When you explain how the magic is done, it's not magic anymore, it's just a bunch of numbers and math. Look at how I was just complaining about long-winded explanations. But anyway, let me talk about my other big issue with this show, which would be the characters. The characters in this show are just uninteresting to me. Bite me. And the really funny thing is, is that they try to make every character as interesting as they possibly can. Well, at least from the main circle of characters, anyway. And in my opinion, they go about it the completely wrong way of doing it. Each one of the main characters here has a specific trait that's special to them, makes them iconic. And that would be good if they did more with it! A lot of the times what this show would do is it would just go to one of those specific characters and just say, OH HEY LOOK AT WHAT THIS GUY CAN DO, HE CAN DO THIS OR THIS GIRL CAN SEE THIS! Uh -huh! And they really wouldn't go much past that other than showing them use their traits every now and again. Otherwise, the characters feel just really interchangeable. What I mean by that is it feels like you could just swap out any character at any time and you really wouldn't feel any difference. They all feel the same. None of them feel too special. Especially when you compare them to the two main characters. The two main characters of this show are siblings, a brother and a sister, and they are paraded around like they are the best. The only thing I can really say about these two is that they're kind of overpowered. That's really the big idea here. The sister has ice powers. Uh, I'm not gonna say magic. Uh, and literally, anytime she has any adversity or any problems, just freezes them. No problem. 
And also, she's into incest, and as far as I've gotten into the show, uh, it's only used for comic relief, but uh, I, I, I can imagine they fuck later down the line. Uh, and I don't know that at all, because I didn't go online and look it up on the wiki. No, no, not at all. That would be uh, unprofessional. Yeah, 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 that, that one. That one! And then you have the brother, who is supposed to be the irregular in Magic High School. And if being irregular means being perfect in almost every conceivable way and fucking every single girl in the school, then yeah, that, that's pretty that's pretty irregular. The more you watch this show, the more shit they throw at you to say, hey, this main character guy, pretty good. Like, half the times what they tell you, it you don't even know the weight of it. It doesn't make any sense to you, but it's there and you have to stomach it now. Oh yeah, and remember those special traits that everyone had? Uh, yeah, uh, our main boy here, he can just negate those. All of them. If he wants to. Okay, so the reason I really hate this main character is because his whole premise revolves around explaining magic. His special trait is, he's not very good at magic practically, but since magic is a bunch of numbers and math, he can literally read off any spell as it's being cast and tell what it is. And since he's a super smart science man, he can counter or shut off any spell that's thrown at him. And in my opinion, he's the most boring character out of them all. You can literally take one look at this guy and say, Yeah, he, he's, he's probably gonna be that one. The, the cool one. Even at the beginning of the show, when they try to pass him on as just a wimp, you can still tell he's gonna be the strongest character. Oh yeah, and that comic relief thing I was talking about earlier, it literally boils down to everyone likes and adores this guy, and his sister gets jealous and freezes people. That's all it goes down to. Honestly, everything around this main character just boils down to a oh, fucking course. There is literally one scene in the show where it's just... Oh, the, the 1947 Ford Mark V, revolutionary, uh, so many were created, and the inventor is praised throughout all time, woo! And you're just sitting there like, I I is the main character, he he's the inventor, isn't he? Of fucking course he is. Why wouldn't he be? You can't take some fucking liberty with this one, can you? Oh wow, that's a pretty cool thing you're doing! Would be a shame if I just came around and put my dick on the table! Huh? 32 inches sure is impressive, but my interim the fucking is still won't accept me, will she? Fuck this show! I put in way too much fucking effort making this, and now it gets free for 